February displayed in June, and the rice paper figures of his rhymes grotesque as the shapely ligaments of the spines burlesque. In a tabletop jig on a lined writing desk, rewrote all my poems and changed my address. An elephant in the room, it's dread of my impending doom. A friend's funeral, a colleague's cremation will have just increase my trepidation until I'm yelling, screaming madly. I've just turned 60, I'm taking it badly. A lot of people will try to tell you what poetry is. This might include the words difficult or shit, but she can speak for herself. And when she does, she'll speak to you like an old friend with two pints in their chest who wants nothing other than the very best for you. She'll hold nothing back, like the laugh that takes you by surprise or the touch of the crook of your neck. Are you consumed with boredom? Does the politics do your head in? Watching porn at 4am and rerunning the video of your wedding? As your house sleeps underground, why can you not rest? When you take that second look, did you settle the second best? This feeling that you get like being drained and hollow, waiting for the sun to rise and swallow the dark, will you feel better tomorrow? Can you see pancreas in your palm with flesh melting from bare bones? What is this fallout shelter except a temporary home? Amazing people, uh, really, really well organised. Uh, I've been made to feel at home, really, really comfortable, and that's a difficult thing to do. Um, so you've got a fantastic atmosphere, so I can congratulate you on that one, definitely. Um, yeah, it's been absolutely amazing. Uh, Russell Crowe's double-breasted, but it's not his chest in the firing line. Who got you dressed? Prada? Versace? Whose line is it anyway? Not yours, not this time. They've got you stitched up tight. Demi goddess is scared mortal. More Demi, more Juliet, more on the blood red carpet. So Mr. Hanks, Mr. Pitt, are you gonna win? What are you next starring in? Yeah, we've got the shot of you top to chin, wore right in. We won't bother you again. You could be dressed in a bin liner. We don't give a shit. Couchy Cameron's Erin Eyeliner, Megan's Bare Back, Zoom in on Jen Zit, Kate's Rack, Print it off, rack up a viral hit. But first we need you to pirouette, we haven't seen enough skin just yet. We want you from all angles, make face, dangle further, whatever dangles. You know what we want, you know. Imagine you didn't carve out a successful career and had to resort to porno. That's been terrific, a really strong first half. Um, yeah, there are some um, headliners who just turn up for their own headlining slot. You, know? you might miss your, your new favourite poem or poet. So, um, really strong first half, enthusiastic crowd. Uh, uh, the people that run it are, are you know, Not hit so and miss. But, uh, <laughs> but no, it's been, it's been terrific and uh, hopefully you'll have me back. I would love to come back. Well In Notler, we smoke smack for pain, to hide the guilt and blame and shame of unemployment. We play guitars and gaze at stars to feel warm and safe and happy. We're just grungers and flower children. Nine is mop-haired lovers and swaggers who pile into transit vans and blag it into Glastonbury. Our art is beautiful. It's Hendrix and Pixies and 60s Psychedelia and Cecilia is breaking our hearts, man. She's breaking our fucking hearts. After lunch we pass the time with packs of cards dictating pride. The sun retreats, the breeze persists, we quickly scuttle inside. I'll lose my boots for this handmade house as Ethiopians brag. But the Eritreans take the lead as I find myself sitting on a Bradford City sleeping bag. Claret and amber stripes beside a cockerel. The distance between my front door in Wakefield and Bradford City Stadium is 22 miles. The distance between this front door in Calais and blissful British soil is 22 miles. The lad beside me, we share a birthday, a bed, a childlike enthusiasm for Leicester City's title chances and a deep disdain for David Cameron. 
Amazing. You're away with words experience. Amazing. I would love to come back. Yeah. You know what? Even just as a, just as to sit in audience and yeah. sit up, man. Great fucking night. It's one, of, it's one of them nights that reminds you of why you do it in the first yeah, place. Absolutely. Amazing. Yes. Loved every second of it. Yeah. Fantastic. Thank you. But <laughs> I still perform it to him. Tony, wake up. <laughs> when you focus in and concentrate on those across the street, when you're quick to cast aspersions on the vulnerable and weak, and when someone's tongue just don't belong to the language that you speak, when you feed off greed and believe what you read and then grin yourself to sleep. There was a young lad from Devizes, wrote poems to try and win prizes. But the judges weren't smitten with the stuff that he'd written. A lot of it didn't even rhyme. <laughs> yeah, this, 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 no, not rhyme. <laughs> no, I'm kidding, it's been brilliant. I've enjoyed every minute. Serious, being serious, it's been fantastic. And I'd like to come again sometime. Brilliant. The ghosts of soldiers flit past splintered trees and kick up time like fallen leaves. You meet yourself, a young man running fast, and see yourself, an old man watching. While all the time the cities yet to be walk hand in hand with Berlin's of the past. Here's the place where Hitler's bunker stood, his shrunken Reich fits in a parking space. Great audience, um, really nice um, atmosphere, uh, great attention by the people. The only problem I had was getting slightly lost and finding myself <laughs> on, the wrong, on the wrong side of the road. But other than that, you got here again. Which, there must be a poem in that somewhere, the wrong, the wrong side of the road in the mist. <laughs> from Sao Paulo, named Jesus Hector Romano, steps off the Greyhound bus on the corners of the avenues of Pacific and Maple. He is sweating, humming of garlic. The song that is playing in his ears is How Can You Mend a Broken Heart by the Reverend Al Green. It is fading yet soothing and this means he'll have to buy new batteries for his five dollar bargain basement soon because this boy, ladies and gentlemen, he can't live without music. Interesting. Okay. It's very, very, very good. And, and poets, poets who are on the circuit who are, do, who are doing, who are doing well, are starting yeah. to emerge. And they should play here because yeah. it's a nice tight room, yeah. very friendly atmosphere. The poets, the open micers, yes. they really like getting things off their chest. They really yeah. like talking about what's bothering them. There's no, there's no, there's no. It's, it's not. Poetry doesn't have to be pretty to be to be beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. It, it, there's, a, there's, yeah. there's enough of that here, and I, and, you know, I wholly recommend it. Pick the sheets, make a stop off the away with words. Brilliant. If you're asked. <laughs> In 77, the Stranglers asked whatever happened to the heroes. Round about the same year, punk kicked off, and the attitude reflected the disaffected, the rejected, the disrespected, and what the free to do what they want to do when they want to do it. And when that freedom of choice found its voice, you couldn't ignore it. But then rebellion became a target market. Fast forward to today, whatever happened to the heroes? Johnny Rotten seems forgotten who was once a clown, Prince of Punk, and since he sunk in my estimation, right to the gutter. Now what better to do than advertising <laughs> in butter? Never mind the bollocks, whatever happened to the heroes? Oh, Joe Strummer's dead, Tony Wilson's dead, Joey Ramone's dead, Kurt Vonnegut's dead, so it It's been amazing, mate. I mean, yeah. seriously, uh, crowd's so what? So brilliant. Yeah. Brilliant crowd. It's packed. Yeah, yeah. The venue's gorgeous. I'm, yeah, I'm over me, mate. Brilliant. Yeah. Fantastic.